the, the duck egg dish is inspired by my parents. They're both Latvians. Um, you know, it's an Eastern thing, it's a classic. Scrambled eggs and caviar. Does Martin shout at all? Um, only if things go wrong. <laughs> We've got our prepared shell, and into that we're going to put some mango puree, that's going to be our yolk. Um, and we put a nice square of that into the bottom of the shell. That we're going to top with our whipped cream. Be generous, you know, overfill the shell, and uh, then we'll level that off with a palette knife. With boiled egg you have soldiers. Now what we use are these, this is shortbread, and there you go. Pop those on the side. To finish it off, we're just going to top it with the mango, and that's going to be our yolk. And we just put a, a nice squirt of that, nice full yolk, and that's it. Board egg and soldiers, letney style. We've got the uh, crayfish we, we boiled in um, water with salt, black peppercorns, and uh, black currant leaves. And you can see the colour change there. And um, we just pop those into cold water, that's just to refresh them, that stops the cooking basically. It's nice to see one of the, the best chefs in Britain making good old humble shepherd well, pie. Well, I'd put it out of good housekeeping, you know. When it's your own business, you've got to make some money. So. And here we have the hatchery. So how old are these? Uh, these have been hatched about two weeks. So how many in, in just this tank here, how many do you think there are? Well, roughly in this tank, there's about 15,000. 15,000? In nature, only about 2% would survive if they're lucky. And in this situation, how many do you expect to survive? Uh, probably 70, 75% will get through to market size uh, or up to bigger sizes for the smoking. There, look at that. Now that is nature's uh, tank. It's covered in armor, its own armor. So, uh, your turn now, guys. Off you go. 